With over 14,000 day and residential camps across the United States, the $18 billion camp industry sees over 14 million children and adults attend every year. Most people will know very little of what actually happens in summer camps, basing their knowledge on Hollywood depictions. But in truth, there's more to it than meets the eye. Camp Champions is a residential camp in the heart of Texas, providing a wide variety of activities and skill developments throughout the year for children of all ages. Owners and directors Steve and Susie Baskin have four children of their own, born and raised at the summer camp. Uh, when I was eight years old, I was a very, very shy uh, little boy whose older brother was a local sports star. And uh, everyone, I was defined myself as being the younger brother. And I was the younger brother who was uh, asthmatic and allergic to Bermuda grass. And I really doubted my self-worth. And my parents sent this shy little boy away. And at camp, I discovered my own self-worth. And at camp, I understood that uh, I could do things without my parents, without my brother, and it was actually spectacular to be me. And each year I learned something new at camp and I grew. And as a result, uh, after I went in the real world and decided that working in finance uh, was good at making money but not much at creating joy, I wanted to do something that had some meaning. And camp had been really important to me, so I wanted to go and become a camp director. Alice Nasarch has attended camp for a total of 13 summers as now division leader. Yeah. My favorite part of being a division leader is I get to go over all the activities with my girls. And there's a lot of them. Hi, Finn! Including Finn. Uh, and I just, it's really fun to get to cheer them on and get to know all of them and uh, watch them grow in these two or three weeks. Yeah. Finn, are you climbing next? What? Who's climbing right now? What was your goal for the day? The climbing is No! Yeah. That's awesome! Did you do it? Yeah, I got it exactly right. Exactly. Rebecca Foreman is also a lifelong camper of 14 years and is now a fellow division leader. Would you say that your camp experience has changed you as people? Would you would you be different people if it weren't for, for camp? Duh. Yeah, uh, camp, not just because of the senior camper program, I think because it, yeah. starting at a young age and learning to be independent so young was part of how I at least grew as a person and then through the senior camper program you learn more about how to like lead kids around and like learn to be a leader and just the people everything yeah yeah it's just <laughs> like all of the social skills like I didn't talk to anyone at school I didn't care to but I talked to people at camp <laughs> like integrating into college was just literally so easy uh, both, like living yeah. with a roommate right that as well we've done that since we were little and both of us went out of Texas for college and I don't know if you knew anyone when you went but like I didn't yeah, know anyone no. when I went to school and like people were like oh wow that's terrifying I was like not really actually uh, camp actually helped because Jenny Lewis was the only person that I knew at Wash U camp and yeah she there's went so many camp time. people yeah does this variety of people make a difference to you I mean would you say you're more accepting people yeah for sure. I mean, dealing with all kinds of circumstances and because like our job is just like whatever the kids decide our job needs to be. So like if Rebecca and Tyra don't want to speak English, like that's what I have to deal with today. Right. So like I'm adaptable for sure. Um, I think also uh, working with the younger generation who is going to be in our position at some point in time is like the coolest thing in the entire world too. When you come to camp that is a huge brave experience uh, and like that's where I tell my homesick kids is that it's extremely brave that you came here. Your parents wouldn't have sent you here if you, they didn't think this was the right place for you for right now. Um, kids have to exist without their parents at some point so like rather now than yeah rather now than like they get to college and panic yeah. Did you just lose a tooth? Summer camps often nurture skills that are harder to develop elsewhere and combine personal growth with a fun environment. We just got piggies and I'm so happy. Got piggies. Yeah. Um, I've always been an outgoing person and weird, but um, I don't think I would have been as confident in myself or as much of a leader if it wasn't for camp. Um, I've, yeah, I've been here since I was eight. Um, I like getting to help other people grow into people that they want to be.
you can. Most people who attend a summer camp will keep coming back year after year, attributing a lot of their successes to their time spent under the stars. But it isn't just campers who gain something from the experience. Camps employ over 1.5 million people, with almost 20% being international workers. Counselors who work at summer camps understand the impact they make on children's lives and the effect a short time away from home can have in the long term. So do you think the, the people you meet and the things you do here are going to change lives in the future? Yeah, yeah, I really do. And it's, that's what makes it so fun. Like, you know, at my job, I just kind of, I just kind of have like these two second interactions with people, you know, and I'm told like, oh yeah, by doing that, you know, you give them what they want, it makes them happy. But here it's like, you're like giving them something that they need. And would you say that your life would have been a lot different without summer camp? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be able to talk to people. I'd be really awkward around people all the time. I wouldn't really ever trust people very much. I'd say I'd be a way different person. So do you think the camp had a direct impact on how your career sort of furthered itself? You know, would you have been the same person if it weren't for the things you learned at camp? I, there's not a prayer. I mean, I, I would have remained the person that defined himself as not quite being as uh, successful as a brother or not being an athlete or not being outgoing. And camp enabled me to get over all those things. And it also gave me the knowledge that this very short experience, two weeks, three weeks, five weeks, can be much more transformative than nine months at school. And I didn't just get to see that as a counselor, but I experienced that as a young man and a boy. And I absolutely believed in the ability of camp to change people's life. And had I not done it myself, I certainly wouldn't have pursued that. Right. I had no intention of being in camp. I mean, <laughs> when I met Steve, he talked on and on about camp, and I kind of thought, well, that's really nice for you. <laughs> and uh, I had plans to run a hospital. That was what my background was and what I was getting my degree in and still fully intended to do that once we got married and moved to Texas. And uh, once we were here, Steve engaged me in a variety of little projects and I grew to really like it. One of the things that I really liked about being a camp owner was you weren't trying to fix broken people. You were really working with great kids and making them even better, who in turn would go out and have positive impacts in the world. Camp Champion sits on Lake Lyndon B. Johnson, and once per term, the campers wake up at the crack of dawn to swim across the cool waters. That's good, Jimmy! Challenged to swim to the other side and back again. To some, it's a race, but the true purpose of it is to put their willpower and grit to the test. Having practiced in the pool every day for two and a half weeks, the challenge is not so much the one kilometre swim, but the tenacity to keep going. Though nobody's forced to take part, the majority of campers have learnt that most of the obstacles they face are simply in their heads, and choose to overcome the mental challenge despite the physically demanding task. Come on, that's the way to finish your leg swim right there, that's the way to finish your leg swim. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Every parent is obsessing about what's going to get my kid into college or what, you know, what's going to make the resume look good. And no one's spending much time thinking about what will make them successful when they're in college or beyond college, when they're engaged adults, when suddenly interpersonal skills and the ability to communicate and collaborate and really lead and resolve conflicts becomes important. And no school is teaching these things because you can't grade it. You can't measure it. You can't get an SAT on your collaboration skills, your leadership skills. And these are all skills that really require practice. And what I love about the Senior Camper Program is that we deeply believe that you rarely get what you hope for, but you get what you expect. And we kind of expect high school kids to make good grades and stay out of trouble. And they're capable of really giving back. And they're capable of making a difference. And when you let them do so, they flourish. And in a world where the very skills that predict for success later in life aren't measurable and they aren't well taught, I think we're sort of a uniquely rich place to garner the skills that you need to be successful later. And we actually focus specifically on those. So you know, the reason they're put in charge of uh, different activities is because they are comfortable talking. They are comfortable uh, getting group to work well together and to lead them. And those scare skills are important and they're rare. 
And so I, I believe the senior camper program is a place where they begin to become adults. They begin to become the people that can change the world or at least make a big difference later in life. The days are long and the weeks are short. The lessons learned here will echo throughout campus lives and help them become better people, teaching them things that can't be graded or monitored in classrooms. It's these lessons that so many kids and young adults are missing out on, but are no less important than school education. Though the heat of the sun is often blistering, when the clouds roll in and the temperatures drop, there is still no better feeling than laying down all technology and just being outdoors. We, are, we have information. We, we don't think we know what a camp experience can do for a child. And uh, if you know that there's an experience that can help children live better lives, and not just you know, upper middle class children, but any child, and most people are not getting that experience. At some point, you can either be real smug and say, well, we're sure helping some kids, or you can start to be a little bit frustrated and angry that you're not helping more. And the reason Susie is part of the uh, group that is looking at out-of-school time, or I was a part of the American Camp Association National Board, or do these TED Talks, or do our writings, is that we're trying to spread the word. We're trying to find researchers that will help document the outcomes of camp. Because I we deeply believe that if moms and dads and policymakers believe that camp is one third as powerful as we know it is, people will be clamoring for the experience. And it's then incumbent upon us to make sure the word gets out there so they will start to clamor.